Hi, Capricorn. This is a general reading for the sign of Capricorn. If you have Capricorn anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn, let's talk a little bit about how these readings work. Um, I do take into consideration the sun placement, the moon placement, and uh, planetary placements in conjunction with um, the tarot cards that present themselves during this reading. So it is a practice of alchemy, which is taking the seen and the unseen. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn, this week, the moon will be in the last quarter phase in Virgo. Virgo will have everyone feeling a little bit disorganized, a little bit discombobulated. Um, the feelings and thoughts of disorganizations are really a gift sent to us to teach us to learn to trust. Everything is not meant to go according to plans. Take time this week to celebrate how far you have come. Um, I will post in the description box a simple little gratitude ritual for self uh, appreciating ourselves. And so, you know, many times we do appreciate gratitude and we are very thankful. But many of those times, or many times, it's that we're not being um, thankful for the things that we have done, for the things that we have accomplished, or the things that we bring to other people's lives. And so I will post a simple little ritual in the description box that you may enjoy or may not. And the foundation, the basis of your reading this week is the Four of Swords. And if we look, we think deep contemplation, deep thought that is driven by the Knight of Cups. And it's about feelings, emotionals, um, about the spiritual, about the unseen. And I do believe that there is something awakening in you, something stirring in you at this time that really has you looking at and really considering how spirituality, um, how your emotions, how your feelings, and even how your intuition plays into your daily routine, um, your interaction with those closest to you, and really considering those. Thank you, Spirit. And speaking of intu intuition, before we go any further, let's try one of these uh, intuition cards. Let's try one of these ESP cards. If this is your first time tuning in, um, the Capricorns and I have been practicing our intuition. And so I just have these fun little ESP cards and I've selected six out of the deck just simple shapes and what I've been doing is I've just been doing a quick little shuffle and then I will select one of these cards and I'll look at the card and I'll think of that and I'm sending that image to you and let's see if we can connect um, the more that we practice using our intuition the more that we are able to connect um, the better these readings can become um, sometimes you'll get it sometimes we will not but it's really about the practice and it's the practice of anything that carries over into other aspects of our lives so let's take another quick look at that and at the end of the reading we will reveal that card to see if we were able to connect this week and in your professional life in your public life in your career we start off with celebrations 
um, a togetherness, a happiness, um, working well with those that are surrounding you. The Hierophant, the change of knowledge, change of information, change how we approach something. The fairness, equal give and take, the understanding and justice, justice in your favor. There is a misunderstanding or a miscommunication. Someone is trying to tell you something. Somebody is trying to explain something. Somebody is trying to demonstrate something to you that is being misunderstood. Capricorn, you prefer the mode of conversation, the mode of communication that is direct and matter of fact. And really, there's no beating around the bush. It's, let's just get to the facts. Let's state it how it is and let's deal with that and move on with that. But um, there's something that someone is trying to tell you and their mode of communication is maybe causing a little bit of confusion a little bit how they are saying it can be easily misunderstood And perhaps it may, maybe you have dealt with this person and do understand what this person is saying, but they're still not saying it in a clear way. Spirit is asking that you have this person clarify and that you be polite and ask them to restate what it is that they're trying to tell you, what it is that they're trying to communicate to you and not operate on assumption. Uh, I'm getting the energy that in the past there's been similar miscommunications and since you believe you understand what this person is trying to say or in comparison to what this person has said in the past their miscommunication in this case needs to be clarified that any assumption on your part or any uh, similar conversations that had in the past, there is a different meaning that this person is trying to convey to you. And if you do not ask them to clarify, if you do not ask them to restate, um, something very important can be missed. Do not operate on assumptions. And in your private life, in your personal life, balance. Judgment. The Emperor. And appreciating how far you have come.
appreciating how far you have come. Mercury has gone retrograde in Capricorn. And so when Mercury goes retrograde, we can expect um, communications to get all tangled, to get all mixed up. And Spirit is asking you to find ways to communicate more effectively. If you have tried everything that you know of to communicate effectively and they're still not getting it, it's because they do not want to get it. Finding balance. I, I really do believe, Capricorn, for you, um, this last entire year has been a way, um, has, Spirit has been finding ways to present things into your life in order for you to find balance. Balance between work and balance between home life. Um, this past year, you have really been focused on work, really been focused on career. And you are coming to a point, coming to a stage where you are finding that balance. Finding the balance between work, finding the balance between work and career. And this is working out in your favor, but it also is going to require you to be steadfast. And if we look closer at the Emperor card, we can see that the Emperor is really, it looks like he's sitting on a throne made of stone. And so that's telling us that whatever decisions you have made, what um, ever actions you are going to want to take, they're almost going to have to be written on stone. Um, maybe be a little um, less forgiving with offering your time to where you do not want to spend or generate your time. And look back and appreciate how far you have come. Really take, really evaluate really evaluate and appreciate all the work that you have put in to create the life that to create the life of your dreams to manifest what it is that you are wanting to manifest you have really set yourself up for great success and manifesting what it is that you would like to manifest in your home life. And we have the High Priestess card. Not all is as it appears. There's more to you spiritually then you've been giving yourself credit for. It's almost like a hidden gift or a hidden talent that you haven't been wanting to be aware of. And Spirit keeps trying to bring this into you. Spirit keeps trying to make you aware of that. When you think of um, your spiritual journey, when you think of your intuition, um, when you think of your spiritual gifts that you have, um, it causes you to stress. It causes you sleepless nights. But there is a passion, a drive, a connection to spirit that you've been slow to acknowledge 
that you've been slow to develop, that you've been slow to take action on. Capricorn, your dreams are trying to tell you something. You are more psychic. You have more psychic abilities than you've been giving yourself credit for. You have that inner knowing. And sometimes you know things just because you know things. And I think that up until this time that you've been shrugging that off or putting that off or ignoring that, thinking that everyone has that skill, that everyone has that ability, or that yes, you do, but it doesn't really mean anything. And Spirit is letting you know, the universe is guiding you and telling you that you are more psychic than you give yourself credit for. And it's trying to come through. It's trying to come out in your dreams. Do what you can to um, find restful, peaceful nights. And maybe keep a um, journal by your bedside and just jot down really quick in the morning when you wake up any parts of your dreams that you're able to remember. Even if you're just able to remember one image or you have one thought the first thing when you wake up in the morning, do note that. And the more that you pay attention, the more that you note that, um, the more familiar with your dreams that you will become. And the more familiar with your dreams that you become, the more restful your nights rest is and that is the message that i have for the sign of capricorn and capricorn before i let you go let's do one final little look an image sent to the card and did you select the black cross or the black x depending on how you look at that depending on how you receive that if we were able to connect i'm glad that we were able to connect if not, no worries. It's really about the practice. And really, anything you do, it's about the practice. And I'm glad that we practice that. That will help you um, build and tap into your psychic abilities. Thank you, Capricorn. You have a blessed week.